Hi, everyone. Welcome to today's live panel on what it's like to work at NetSuite. We're so excited to share stories with you from some of our awesome employees, their various roles, their journeys, and the experiences they've had throughout their career here at NetSuite. This is a super exciting panel because NetSuite is hiring and we want people just like you. But before we dive into what it's like to work here at NetSuite, how about I give you some fun facts about our company. First and foremost, we were founded in 1998 as the first true cloud integrated business system. We work with more than 27,000 customers all over the globe. And in fact, we help companies in more than 215 countries and independent territories run their businesses across eight major industry segments and in every SIC code. And while we're on the topic of customers, some exciting news. In 2021, thus far, more than 125 NetSuite customers have entered the public market, and we are so very proud of that. NetSuite remains one of the fastest growing public SaaS companies, and we continue to expand our business. Right now, we're operating in 42 offices all over the world with six U.S. hubs and expanding to eight here in the near future. And of course, we continue to hire remotely as well because our goal is to meet you and all of our employees where everyone wants to work and live. I'm actually currently based in Santa Monica, right by the beach, and you're gonna hear from four employees who are all over the place, so I'll let them introduce themselves. Um, and then at the end of today's conversation, we are actually going to open it up for a live Q&A with all of you. So if you are tuning in right now and you have questions for me or for our guests, make sure you leave them in the comments and we'll get to as many of them as we possibly can. But I know the reason you're here is to ask the number one question, which is, what is it like to work at NetSuite? So how about now I bring on our four guests to answer that, please welcome Angela Cavanaugh, Wes Exum, Tiffany Munoz, and Kevin DePriest. Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Hello. Thanks so Hello. much for having me. <laughs> I know it's it's always that weird like intro where there's so many people on. You're like, who's gonna say hi first? But um, I want to open the door uh, to this conversation with a little bit about each of you. So why don't you each introduce yourselves, your role here at Netsuite? how long you've been here, and because I like to break the ice a little bit, a fun fact. Um, Wes, we'll start with you. Definitely. Thanks for the intro, Kendall. My name is Wes Exum. Hello, everybody. I'm a business development representative in the BDR program here at Oracle NetSuite. I have been here since January. Um, and a fun fact about me is I'm pretty heavily invested in fantasy football right now. I have about five <laughs> teams. I take it very seriously. Um, and it, you know, consumes most of my life from <laughs> August to, you know, just de December, January. Wow. Wow. That is a fun fact. Good for you for being able to, uh, keep up with all of that. Um, Angela, what about you? My name is Angela. I am an account manager in the Santa Monica office, which is actually the West Hollywood living room these days, but I've been working at NetSuite for just over two and a half years now. And my fun fact. Um, completely unrelated to cloud ERP is that I actually moved to LA when I was 19 to pursue a career in professional dancing. So, wow, you can how that went now that I'm at NetSuite. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you gave it a shot. Now you're in LA. We are, Angela and I actually um, worked out of the Santa Monica office together. So we go way back. We go way, way back. Um, Kevin, on to you. Fantastic. Yeah. Hi, everybody. My name is Kevin D. Priest. I am an account executive here with NetSuite. Like Angela, I just passed my two and a half year mark here with the business. Uh, and fun fact about me, I love to ski and I can also juggle, but I have yet to try both at the same exact time. <laughs> Whoa. Well, we look forward to that. I mean, we throw um, we throw talent shows here at NetSuite. So, Kevin, I expect to see that in the next talent show. I expect to see your video come through. Sign me up. <laughs> and finally, Tiffany. Yeah. Hi, everyone. My name is Tiffany Munoz, and I'm a solution consultant here at Oracle NetSuite, specifically supporting the um, direct sales product vertical with a specialty in the apparel, footwear, and accessory space. Um, and I've been here almost four years. I can't believe it's been almost four years, but um, that's a little bit about me. And fun fact, 
I'm not a professional dancer um, like my colleague on the phone, but I do mm -hmm. love to dance and have taken dancing lessons growing up. Wow. Again, two talented individuals. You guys are going to have to show off your dance skills here sometime in the near future. Um, <laughs> All right, so Wes, I want to I want to bring it back to you. You are a BDR or a business development representative, as you explained. What is the BDR program, and why did you want to join the BDR program here at NetSuite? Yeah, to answer that question, um, I like to start off by saying so. Essentially, when you know you go into sales, a lot of companies kind of just throw you right into the fire and have you kind of learn on the fly and try to close deals without any experience. And the BDR program essentially is a sales readiness program. So BDRs are what's called the top of the funnel. We you know, source leads, we um, engage prospective businesses just to evaluate if, it, if, if there's a fit there, if there might be a need on the business end, and then pass them up to our reps to you know, then take them through the sales process and get into the weeds about you know how our software can help them and evaluate their current software landscape. I joined the BDR program because prior to coming to NetSuite, I was able to you know secure a few different internships while I was in school, and sales really was the area that I I had the least amount of experience in. So I wanted to go to an organization that would kind of build me up and then you know prepare me for that next role. And, and, you know, where better to do it than with a company like Oracle who prepares you for the for the AE or AMO role and, you know, you're able to make a pretty competitive salary while doing so. That's so true. Um, I love that insight. You know, something that I always, whenever I think back to my college days um, and graduating from college and then entering the workforce, it was a, it was a really big transition. Um, you graduated from college in 2020, which is already, <laughs> that was already a, a pretty crazy time. Um, but then making that transition from college to a full-time job, I can imagine was, was pretty, you know, difficult to do given the circumstances, um, and a big reality check. How has it been here at NetSuite? What do we offer to make that transition a little easier, especially in the BDR program? Yeah. You know, Finishing four years, you know, four plus years of school, however long you went, and then all of a sudden being, you know, done with that part of your life, it's a huge adjustment. It's it's really weird to think about. And when you're when you finish, you're just kind of like, wow, that part of my life's behind me. Um, yeah. Being here at NetSuite has been good because in the BDR role specifically, you know, you work with tons of, of colleagues and people around you who are one in similar areas as you in terms of, you know, just now graduating the same age group, things like that. And, and NetSuite has really been able to ease that transition one because of, you know, the development opportunities that they offer, you know, they really help you transition it into the work life, but two, you know, just the care that they put on their employees, you know, we have wellness days and I really do feel like um, Oracle NetSuite has their employees best interests at mind when it comes to, you know, the people they bring on. So that, that's been really helpful. Well, and I'm sure joining with kind of a cohort of people who are in the same program as you also kind of makes that a bit easier, right? Definitely. I joined with um, 21 people between my our two managers in here in Denver. So uh, being able to, you know, make friends with them and, you know, have similar interests, similar, similar hobbies as them has been really helpful. Um, I'm wondering if skiing while juggling is one of those, but uh, we'll get into that later. <laughs> um, so Wes, where do you see your career heading here at NetSuite? And what do you think is uni unique about NetSuite when it comes to really forging your career path and looking ahead at future opportunities? The direct, so for those who don't know, the direct, the direct career path here at NetSuite for BDRs is to, you know, serve your time as a BDR, however, however long that time is. And then from that role, you'd move into an account management role like Angela or an account executive role like Kevin on the line here. And in terms of my career long term and where I see um, where I might may fit best, I'm leaning towards the account executive role. You know, from what I from what I know and have been able to gather about the two roles, it just seems best fit for me right now, given my skill set and long term you know, um, being able to leverage that account executive position and, 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 you know, propel myself, you know, five, 10 years down the road. And what, what's unique about NetSuite is, you know, there's a very clear career path here. So 
You know, you know, for the most part, exactly the amount of time that you need to spend as a BDR. You know, you know the goals you need to hit. You know, you know, the deliverables that you have to provide in order to move into either role. And then, you know, from there, they like to hire from within. So, you know, we have the front row seat to, to positions opening up and it really makes it, you know, a very viable um, place and company to start. And, you know, from what I hear end your career as well. So I'm excited for that. That's great. Speaking of uh, kind of that account executive role, Kevin, you are in direct sales. What does that mean and how do you work with our customers? Yeah. So direct sales is what most people would think of as the traditional hunter outbound sales role. So you're searching for new companies that have never worked with NetSuite before. You're introducing our products and services to them, learning a lot about their own organization and what they're struggling with. Um, you know, from a business process and software perspective. And then you're aligning a solution uh, to their business and what they're looking for to help them and ultimately bring them into the NetSuite family where they can continue to grow within the wide range of uh, products and, and services that we have. Great. Yeah, we'll talk to Angela a kind of a, uh, more about um, account management and how that all works. But First, Kevin, can you tell us about your career? Where were you before NetSuite and what made you want to join the NetSuite team? Yeah, so I came to NetSuite straight out of college, similar to Wes. Um, I, I started in the BDR program and I knew I wanted to go into sales in some capacity when I graduated from college. A um, couple of things I was looking for in a company was one, a solid training program for incoming sales reps, which is our BDR program. Um, I wanted to get into an industry where, you know, there was more and more focus, more money being poured into in terms of R and D cloud technology is definitely one of those spaces. Um, and I also wanted to find a company where, you know, I could build a home if I ended up, you know, liking it and doing well. Um, and it's pretty crazy. You know, the hiring at NetSuite has been insane for a company of our size. You know, we're a huge business yet. We're adding new teams and reps like, you know, we're a company that's about to IPO. So the growth is really insane. And it's, you know, been a really interesting mix of, you know, somewhat of a startup culture with a ton of upside, but also, you know, a really well-established Fortune 100 organization. Uh, you know, it's the opportunities we're presented working under the Oracle umbrella are, are amazing. The resources and access we have to those resources are amazing. But then exactly as you said, we operate like a startup, um, which is really fun. It, we, we, we move fast and we make things happen fast. Um, so I'm curious, how has your career developed here at NetSuite in this type of culture? Yeah, so as I mentioned, you know, I started as a BDR in the business development program here, and I was able to work pretty closely with some account executives, helping them build up some pipeline, finding new companies that they could go after and take through a full sales cycle. So I got a lot of exposure to you know, the direct selling side of the company. And, you know, similar to Wes, I felt that that's where, you know, my skills and my experience best align. So mm -hmm. last April, uh, April 2020, when, you know, literally everything hit the <laughs> fan in the world, uh, I moved into my first account executive position here. Um, and I spent that first year, you know, a big focus of mine was, you know, individual contribution. I wanted to hit my number um, I wanted to bring a lot of interesting companies into the NetSuite fold. And, you know, I got off to a, a decent start. So, you know, outside of that, I think one of the you know great things about NetSuite is you're not limited to, you know, your specific job description. There's a lot of opportunities mm -hmm. to go and, you know, extend yourself as a resource to other groups at the company. I've had a chance to be a mentor for now seven new AEs that have joined wow. the organization. Um, so, you know, it's interesting. I'm able to do my job as a direct rep, but I've also been able to get, you know, a little bit of uh, management experience um, and helping yeah. on board some new people as well. Um, so I, I think that blend is something that's that's really interesting here. Yeah, I love that you brought up men mentorship um, because that's such a, a huge initiative here at NetSuite. Um, would love to hear about some of the initiatives and processes we have in place here to make these kind of career jumps um, available for people, even in the remote environment that we're in, not being able to walk directly to, say, a manager's desk or something. How are you seeing execs and upper management really push employees to to level up their careers here at NetSuite? Yeah, it's a it's a really good question, Kendall. So I think with management, you know, the common theme here is that everyone is still very involved with their reps on a regular basis, even in this remote environment where it's difficult to keep a pulse on 
you know, how your team is doing and what they're looking for help on. Um, but I mean, outside of just strategy on deals and, and how you're performing, you know, there's a lot of checkup in terms of one-on-ones with your manager and keeping a pulse on not just what you're doing in your current role, but, you know, how are you preparing for taking that next step? Um, I, I think a big thing here is career development. And because there are a lot of options for growth within NetSuite specifically, um, you know, management definitely has a big focus on helping their teams, you know, develop not just in what they're doing now, but what they're wanting to do, you know, two, three years down the road. So, yeah. I mean, whether that's pushing you for, um, you know, sales competitions or spiffs within a, a month or a quarter to get people, you know, to crank out an extra logo or, um, you know, upsell a deal a little bit or, um, you know, giving people some management experience by bringing them into, you know, the mentor program here, yeah. um, you know, outside of just your your regular nine to five, there's a lot of people that, you know, are putting in extra time to help you get where you want to be. So it's, it's definitely a, a big push here for, for managers across the board. Love that. Um, I see some questions coming in and some shout outs from the audience. I just want all of you who are tuning in to know that at the end of the conversation, we are definitely going to get to these questions. We're going to open it up, but we're going to chug along here onto Angela. Angela, you are in account management. How does that differ from what Kevin does in direct? What does it mean to work in AMO, as we call it? Yeah, so in account management, we're really the, the client's long-term partner on NetSuite. So once a new logo joins the platform, um, if everyone's not familiar who's watching the webcast, we are we have a suite of products. So the most successful clients are typically the ones that kind of start with a basic package and then grow into the platform just because we have so many offerings. So account managers are really responsible for handling that growth and managing the clients as their businesses change over time, bringing more solutions to them and helping them expand their footprint. So we're really like the long-term advisor. We're in a, we're in a strategic relationship and I, I really love it. Um, curious because you mentioned the whole moving to LA when you were 19 to be a dancer so what was your career path after that and then leading into your role here at NetSuite yeah so I love performing so I do feel like I get to perform every day with my C-level executive clients so that's yeah. kind of my favorite part about it but I actually ended up going to college at UC Santa Barbara studying economics and I actually went to PwC and worked in public accounting for a few years before I joined. So for everyone listening, the BDR program is incredible, but there is also opportunities for external hires too at the company. Um, I definitely was a more non-traditional hire and I really uh, put my sales skills to use selling myself to the executives to get into this company. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, we do work with accounting professionals typically. So, you know, the experience makes sense, but that's kind of right. what led me over here to NetSuite. Yeah, we have some questions coming in about that that I will probably ping you for Angela at the end of this conversation. Um, but you said you you sold yourself. You to, <laughs> That sounds bad. <laughs> you sold yourself to the, the executive team here at NetSuite because you really wanted to join this company. Why? What made you want to join NetSuite and why specifically as an account manager? Yeah, so I really wanted to stay in a client service industry because as an auditor, I was working directly with clients um, that were accounting professionals. So I wanted to keep that going because, you know, that's what I studied and it, it made the most sense to me with my skills. But I really, to be quite honest, wanted to have higher higher earning potential and work in sales and and I used NetSuite as an auditor. So I already was familiar with the product and not to be biased, but I genuinely think it's an incredible product. So I thought, well, how awesome would it be to work for a company that I actually like the product and I still get to work with clients and I have an unlimited earning potential. So yeah, that's great. <laughs> competitive. I mean, we that is another thing. We are a competitive brand that offers competitive pay. So I think that's important to bring up. And mm -hmm. uh, I love that you said you actually used and loved the product because I think everybody here on this call can attest, like, if you don't love the product that you are selling, you really aren't going to be super successful at that. Um, and I think all of us here definitely love the product and, and uh, just have enjoyed working for a company that really makes... Uh, you know, not to be cliche, but really helps entrepreneurs and business leaders make things happen, make dreams come true for their businesses. So appreciate that. Um, Tiffany, 
you are a solution consultant. What does your role entail? Yeah, so my role, I like to think of it as the right hand of the sales rep when it comes to solutioning. So what I do is I listen to what a prospect challenges are and their goals and really help strategize on what the right solution fit is from both a NetSuite and also partner, partner ecosystem perspective. So um, I really just help the customers envision how they would be using NetSuite and you know help them see the value by leading discovery calls, um, going through NetSuite product demos, and then scoping calls as well too. So how did you get here? Like what, what led you into the solution consultant role? Where were you prior to NetSuite? Yeah, so I had no idea that this role existed. Um, I like to think of it as the role, you know, a job that you never heard of, but it's the best one out there in my opinion. Um, so kind of starting all the way back, I graduated from Georgia State University with a degree in accounting. I didn't end up going into accounting, but little did I know that it was going to come back and haunt me because I'm working in at NetSuite and working with the ERP. It's, you know, accounting is so fundamental. But my first job out of college, um, I was working at Target, um, then went to go work at Kmart. Um, so in a nutshell, I have supply chain background with big box retailers. Um, and so then I got hired at NetSuite to start in the Solution Consultant Academy or the SEA Academy for short, which is essentially a seven month training program that takes professionals with about two to five years of either accounting finance or supply chain experience and teaches them the ins and outs of NetSuite, how to be in sales, how to be a pre-sales professional um, and, um, you know, brings them on to NetSuite essentially. So um, for me, it was a way for me to transition my career and that's what led me here into NetSuite. Very interesting. Those are some big names. So it's uh, it's exciting to have someone like you with such a with such a background here at NetSuite for sure. And how has your career career developed? You said you've been here for almost four years. How has your mm -hmm. career developed um, throughout those four years? Yeah. So like I said, I mentioned I started in the SE Academy role, which was that seven month program. I then got placed or went live, if you will, um, as a solution consultant in the apparel, footwear, and accessories vertical and um, was supporting emerging deals. So those can be brands that are pre-revenue or just you know really early on. Um, about six months in, I started working more complex deals and then started supporting the mid-market corporate space. But nonetheless, throughout my career, I've been able to grow, um, got promoted this year to senior solution consultant. And so um, it's, you know, I've, I've been lucky enough to have a leadership team that really cares about my career growth. Um, and have always been there to challenge me and support any projects that I'm passionate about, whether it's, you know, helping to build strategies on how to win um, in more niche areas of my vertical or lead training for the sales and solution consulting team, or even support my involvement within different DNI opportunities as well, too. Yeah, I want to I want to hear about some of those other opportunities outside of your role and what you're doing as a solution consultant. What other things are you what other initiatives are you involved with here uh, at NetSuite? Yeah, sure. So I'm involved in some of the employer resource groups here at Oracle NetSuite, specifically OLA, which stands for Oracle Latinos Alliance and then diversity in tech. Um, as well. And so those are the ones that I'm specifically involved in, but there's a ton that are geared towards different affinity groups. And, you know, for me, I, you know, been able to, you know, help plan internal events and interview for Women's History Month, one of our net to be customers. And most recently for Hispanic Heritage Month, I helped organize an event, an internal one in which we highlighted some of the net to be Latino leaders here um, at the company. And so that was really exciting. Um, so I, I really appreciate the fact that I work for a company who allows me to also work on things that I'm passionate about outside of yeah. my everyday role. Yeah, that's great. Um, and even just hearing about some of the things that you've been involved with, I know we've worked together, which has been fun. Um, I want to open it up to the group. I want to hear about some of all your favorite memories throughout your time here at NetSuite, not only you know working virtually, but when we were back in the office. Um, so let's go ahead and start with you, Wes. Yeah, I mentioned earlier how, you know, in the BDR program specifically, we're working with a bunch of individuals who are, you know, similar to us, just graduated, same age range, got similar things going on. And what I like about what I like, well, what I've liked most so far is that, you know, being in the remote environment, it could be difficult to, you know, make connections and, and you know, you know, just really just see people off, outside of a screen and being working with the people that I do and being, you know, similar age range, um, interested in similar things, I'm able to like hang out with them fairly frequently. So that's been that's been my biggest um, takeaway so far. 
That's great. Yeah, I know we have a crew here in Santa Monica that we still try to get together. Um, even though we're not in the office, we still try to get together for happy hours every so often. So it's important to do that. And I'm glad you get to do that too. Um, Kevin, what about you? Yeah, I'd say one of my favorite moments at NetSuite came super early on. I was a BDR. It was my first quarter in seat and it was the last day of the quarter. I was trying to hit my quota. I hit it pretty much at the buzzer and, you know, sales is definitely an individual sport, but I think one of the best things about NetSuite is, you know, the team that you're on and you're a part of is going to be supportive of, you know, your wins as well. So, you know, I hit my quota on the last day. Um, not only was I excited, but, you know, the rest of my team was excited. We were popping some champagne at the desk and it was a very warm welcome to my, uh, my first quarter in sales. So I'd, I'd have to go with that. Love that. Love that. Angela, what about you? Similar to Kevin, I would say just my best memories. They're all about having everybody collaborate together. Like any, you know, software company where there's sales roles, it's going to be competitive. Um, we're naturally the type of people that are drawn to these roles. We all want to, you know, be on the top. But I've never been seized to be blown away by how people that are at the top want to help other people get there as well. Um, I've never felt like I don't have the support I need. Or if I reach out to someone that I look up to, I, I feel like I genuinely get, you know, authentic strategic advice from them um, and they don't see it as a threat. I think that's a really cool thing about our culture. It's awesome. Tiffany, finishing up with you. Yes. For me, some of my favorite memories here at NetSuite definitely have to do with traveling and going to see customers. It's just a different sort of, you know, level of excitement when, you know, the customers that we've been working with, we get to go on site, talk to them, do a live demo, um, come in with the sales rep as well, too. So those are always some of my uh, favorite, favorite memories, especially because we work with pretty amazing customers. That's great. Thank you all for sharing. I want to um, open it up to the audience. Now we have a few minutes, so I don't want to miss any of these questions. Um, I think I'm going to start with Yasser, and this might be a good question for Wes. Um, Yasser says, I'm an information technology and analytics senior graduating in spring of next year of 2022. What types of roles can I apply for? I would assume a, a BDR role might be a, a good option for him. Yeah, that sounds like a great option, especially given given the background there in, in IT. Um, I have a background in finance and I found that it's really helpful for me to talk with finance executives. So, you know, mm -hmm. with his background, with their background being in IT, I think that would be really advantageous for them to come into a BDR role. That's great. Um, and how can people apply? What, what should they specifically look out for when looking to apply specifically to the BDR program? Like, where do they go for that? Yeah, I think that um, if you can connect with a few recruiters on LinkedIn, that's a very popular way to kind of get involved and get information about the BDR program itself, as well as our, our NetSuite website. You know, it, it lays out pretty well about what the BDR program is, when we're hiring, and opportunities that we have available. Thanks, Wes. That's great. Um, Angela, this might be a great opportunity for you from Gavin. How can I get involved if I have no background in technology? I have 15 years sales experience, but in a different industry. Yeah, Gavin, I would almost say you have more experience than I did when <laughs> I started because I had never closed a deal in my life and now it's my favorite thing to do. Um, but I think you know, we have the resources here to teach you what you need to know about our product, about the industry. We have so many different teams that support you, like Tiffany's team, as well as industry principals. And so I actually think your sales experience is very impressive and you'd be a great candidate. So I would I would say don't worry too much about the background in technology and really focus on your sales qualifications um, and we'll, we'll help you with the rest. That's great. Thank you. We have some shout outs coming in here. People saying this all sounds very interesting. Um, Another one coming in from Daniel that said, love the concept and the energy in the team. Greetings from Spain. Hi, Daniel in Spain. Um, okay, we have another one actually, Wes, another one for you for the BDR role. Um, is there a specific industry or business size that a sales team focuses on or does a BDR prospect any business that may be a potential fit for the NetSuite platform? 
When I started, I was at Inbound BDR, so we had we took care of inbound leads, you know, hand raisers who had interest in, in our platform, and that would you know range from companies from five hundred thousand all the way up to you know millions and millions, you know, hundred million dollars. Um, currently, in my role, and currently for the outbound BDRs, they segment by territory, and the territory territories are segmented by um, revenue range and and geographic region. So currently, I'm serving. Um, mid market, so that's revenue from five million to twenty million on the East Coast. You know, New York, Pennsylvania, Maine, things like that, and it segments different areas like th that. Great. Uh, one final question here. I'm going to say Tiffany and Kevin, you two can answer this one. If you could summarize Netsuite's culture in one or two sentences, how would you do so? Uh, Tiffany, I'll start with you. I mean, really, Netsuite is just a great place to work for or work at. There's so many intelligent people that work here, and we work with such amazing yeah. customers as well, too. And just being in an environment where we really try to help each other and help each other grow, um, although we're a sales organization or partly a sales organization, right? It's um, it's a very collaborative environment. That's great. Kevin, what would you say to that? Yeah, I, I would agree with Tiffany. Um, to add on that, you know, it's so cliche, but work hard, play hard. It really <laughs> rings true here at NetSuite. I think, you know, there's a common theme among, you know, most employees here that everyone is very hungry for success. So, you know, there's a lot of really smart people here at the business. Um, everyone has, you know, similar goals and mindset in some capacity. And, you know, we all want to prove ourselves at a large organization. And, you know, we're able to do that with how much opportunity is out there. So I'd, I'd sum it up like that. That's great. Well, thank you all for joining us. This has been super informative. Um, and we look forward to hearing about how you guys continue to grow here at NetSuite in the future. And thanks to all of you as well for tuning in. I know we had some questions coming in here about um, various positions, how to use, for example, your 20 plus years of experience in ERP or for how hiring veterans work. We have actually left a, um, a link in the caption of this live to help you answer all of those questions to see what positions are available. So go ahead and click that link to check it out. We want you to apply, we wanna hear from you and uh, we hope to see you here at NetSuite in the future. Thank you so much for tuning in.